Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. In the last episode, we worked on our social links and we were able to increase our knowledge and we advanced the her next hermit quest for the fox, um, for the lost dog. Got that all done, so we just need to go ahead and turn that in once we have an opportunity. Typically, you want to do that on a rainy day because um, there's not much else you can do on rainy days. So, yeah, that is uh, what we, where we're at. It's uh, July 6th, and uh, we're continuing to wait for Risa to recover. I'm actually going to go ahead and hit the roof. Let's just check the weather. See where we're at. And we have a couple of days of rain here, but I'm not sure that's going to do it. Though the, um, it was like Tuesday and Wednesday next week are going to be the end of the story arc and, you know, Risei's recovery. Alright, so for now I'm actually going to head into town because I need to pick up a new persona. Well, I need to pick up persona for a particular arcana. For what we're going to do today. Oh. Something is different. Marie is nowhere to be found. There is another piece of paper on the floor. Something is written on it in spiky handwriting. You killed me. You are a murderer. By your silent smile. By your composed voice. By your dark eyes. By your bashful fingers. I am slain. I am a corpse. Foolish. Wretched. Happy. Surely I'll simply rot away. My last words. Adieu. Au revoir. Mon chéri. This must be another of Marie's poems. What is this? Why? What is happening here? What is this doing here? But however it happens, stop reading them. If you keep doing that, your eyes are going to rot out. They'll rot away and you'll be sorry you read, you read my stuff. Okay. I hate you, you suck murderer. <laughs> Stop reading. All right, she blushes angrily. It doesn't make sense. I wouldn't leave this here. Return returns to her seat and looks confused. No idea where this is going, but we'll see, I guess. All right. Well, what I need is moon. And I only have one Persona of the Moon Arcana, which is Andra. And Moon is Ai Ebihara. And she is back at the school. And there she is. Oh, you. What do you want? All right, we have the right persona. Our relationship is going to become closer soon. We will spend time with I. Sure. I don't have anything better to do. All right, we're at Okina Station again. Croco Fur. I guess that's the name of the shop. Today I feel like getting something that's easy to slip into. Hmm, doesn't look like they've gotten anything new in. I already have all of this. Uh, we'll have to come back later then. 
I'll get something next time, but I want something today, too. I came here to buy, not to look. Hey. I'm thirsty. Buy me an iced latte. Can't you buy one yourself? <laughs> buy it yourself. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Did you seriously just say that? You're probably probably uh, you're probably the first guy who's ever taken that tone with me. She's surprised. Oh, I Chan, you're back again. You look familiar. Well, yeah. Oh, this is a saleswoman here. Okay, I think she's got like, the same model of one of the uh, those employees from Juness. Um, are you looking for anything in particular today? Oh, we got a purse in that's just your style. The guys will be all over you. That's all right. I'm not shopping for purses today. Oh, is that your boyfriend? He's quite a handsome one. Are you going to introduce him to me? I've had the worst luck with men lately. We were at the bar the other night. Sorry, we really gotta get going. I'll be back. We return to the station. I hate salespeople. I'm the one keeping them in business. Why do they have to pounce on me every time I go in there? That's how it works. You should get rid of all salespeople and put in vending machines. Press a button and out come your clothes. Sounds like a good idea. Sure, why not? Hmm. Isn't it? I don't need all that pointless banter. I can see right through it. There's no such thing as a relationship without ulterior motives. I don't know about that. I look somewhat sad. I don't know why, but I got a little annoyed when she was talking about you back there. She said you were handsome. Good for you, I guess. She looks like she's pouting. Alright, rank two. Let's go home. It'll be dark by the time we get back. Not like I have any reason to hurry. back all right the fridge is full of food okay and our package came excellent so those are peach seeds and soul drops and we can work it as a janitor at the hospital all right so there's a whole bunch to do first thing I want to do is check the garden we'll plant the paprika to see them come in. I don't think there's anything new here as far as the interactions. But for tonight, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to spend time with Dojima to make sure that we stay on schedule with him. Hey! We have the right persona. Uh. This shouldn't advance anything. But we needed the extra points. All right. Who's available today? I. Okay. We'll decide later. Ah, it's Mr. Hosoi. Today we'll look at Yukichi Fukuzawa's Gakuman no Susume, or An Encouragement of Learning. 
Now, open up your textbooks. This Gakuman no Susume has a reference to the U.S. Declaration of Independence. Interesting. So apparently, once you start reading, there's a famous line at the beginning. It's seven. Yeah, it's said that heaven does not create one man above or below another man. Uh, Gakuman no Susume is famous for this line. However, the it is said portion shows that it is a reference. So this famous quote is a quotation in itself. Are you listening, Natsuocha? Chan. What is the beginning of Gakuman no Susume a reference to? Well, you did just say that it is uh, the U.S. Declaration of Independence. Yes, it's referencing the U.S. Declaration of Independence. Before writing Gakuman no Susume, uh, Fukuzawa wrote Seiyo Jijo, or Conditions of the West. In that book, he actually translates the entire declaration into Japanese. So he similarly used the reference in Gakuman no Susume. Well, let's move on. Any existing distinction between the wise and the stupid? Uh, we gave the correct answer. Knowledge is increased. Good. Well, we did just you know, push our knowledge up to the next level. Alright, so for today, what we're gonna do... Actually, let me check my personas. Yes, I got a priestess. Okay, so we're gonna head down to the first floor. Oh, actually, now they got my peach seeds. I need to go into town. I need to give one of them, one of them to this guy. Ah, you brought it. Let's trade. All right, we traded the peach seed for the gentle way. So we get that book. Now what do you want? Don't you think that once something's written down in a book, it suddenly becomes more meaningful? I don't know about that. Even I'm currently practicing something I read in a book a while ago. No, I can't do it at all. Hey you, can I ask you something? Sure. Thank you. Then my request is, I was walking along the river and I saw the cutest little cat. It looked like a stray. I wonder if it would eat cat food. I want to give it a good meal. All the books say that you shouldn't feed feral animals, but... Oh, I know. Why don't you do it for me? Okay. Thank goodness. I'll leave it to you, Den. I accepted the quest. Feed the cat. Oh, the cat's eat. Well, fish, of course. I'm sure it'll be happy if you gave it a fish you caught. Oh, have you heard about that new book that's come out? The sequel to Bully Teacher is out. There's also a new book on advanced fishing techniques. I wonder what kind of stuff is in there. Next release is on July 15th. Okay. So is there a cat at the floodplain? Will it appear today? There's a cat. Could this be the cat you've been told about? You feel like you should try giving it some food. We'll feed the cat. Give it Amber Sima? Sure. Murful? Kind of seems happy. You should report back to the man in front of the bookstore. Alrighty then. That was easy. Oh, did the cat eat it? I'm so glad. I know it's probably a bad idea to feed stray animals, but I'm glad you did it anyway. Well, please take this as my thanks for being compassionate. I got the punk's way. And it's smiling innocently. I think that book I've been reading that suggested not feeding the cat was a little harsh. Maybe you should read it too. Maybe you'll only learn useless advice though. All right, and another quest? Books are always interesting, aren't they? Restricting yourself to a single genre is such a waste. 
Have you read any picture books? Don't just assume that they're for small children. They're expensive and hard to get to, but... Um, and hard to get to. Are you interested in them? Sure. Uh, I knew you'd be. I'll let you have one, but it won't be for free. Mm, okay, have you heard of hard boots? If you can bring me a pair, I'll trade you for a picture book, okay? It's a fair trade. What do you th What do you say? Sure. Acquire hard boots. All right, please do. Just bring them to me and we'll make the trade. It's not something I can buy already, is it? No. Okay. Alright, well, that went further than I thought it was going to. That's fine. So back to the school. And we're going to be spending some time with Yukiko today. Yukiko isn't busy. We have the right persona. Our relationship with Yukiko is going to become closer soon. Check our social link rank. It's six. Okay. I think I'm actually ahead. Of um, what the plan is here. It's ahead of the game on Yukiko, which is fine, actually. So. I don't really need to see all of this. Alright. We'll spend time with yes. Yukiko. Alright, Yukiko brought you here saying she wanted to pay her respects. come here every so often it's nice and quiet a visit here with the waitress too like before a big guest arrives we make our annual Hatsumode visits here the exam charm was here too once I leave this town I won't be able to come here again will I you really are leaving Yukiko nodded vaguely. Oh, Yuki-chan. Oh. Uh, Kasai-san, what are you doing here? Taking a little break after ordering from the liquor store. So now you know. Hmm? Uh oh, I won't tell. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, is that the rumored boyfriend? I see. That hard work in the kitchen paid off, huh? It's not like that. Oh, your face is burning red. Well, I'll let the two you two be alone. Sheesh. I'm sorry about that. Oh, that was one of our waitresses. They all have the wrong idea. I'm really sorry. They're not mistaken. Huh? Stop that. That kind of joke's not very funny. She seems to be sweating unnaturally. Kazai-san is teaching me how to cook along with the other waitresses and chefs. I said I'd learn on my own, but I kept messing up. I burnt myself a couple of times. <laughs> Please let us teach you, they said. It's usually the other way around, you know. They use up their break time for my lessons. They're so nice to me. When I was halfway successful one time, everyone gathered around and taste tested it, saying how good it was. I didn't know what to say. I was just happy. Plus, I have my friends at school. All things considered, I'm pretty lucky. I want to do my best, for everyone's sake. Since the quiet passion in Yukiko's smile, we understand her even more, and we're going to rank up. Alright, 
power to create personas of the priestess arcana is, in, is grown and her determination in battle has been enhanced she can now endure a mortal blow during battle excellent but I'm trying to leave betraying those who've been kind to me I can't help that I suppose bye all right we hung out with you could go and walk the part way home together You're back. All right, we're home. And we can work as a janitor at the hospital today. Did I get myself a devil persona? No, I don't have a devil persona. Alright, well I'm gonna need a devil persona. Because we're gonna go work at the uh the hospital today. Let's see what we got. Vitala, Lilum, and Ukubak. I guess I'll take Vitala. Means I won't act, I mean, I'll, no, I won't break even, but that's fine in terms of my pay. Let me go ahead and uh, get a save there. All right, our relationship with Sayoko will deepen. We'll work at the hospital. At least I think it, I won't break even. I busily cleaned the recently vacated hospital room. You feel someone watching you. Decide to pretend to not to notice anything you're cleaning. There's our courage boost. And here's Sayoko. Nice work. Were you waiting here for me? Oh, you sweet thing. Well, then... <laughs> would you like to study with me? Perhaps a subject they don't teach in school if you catch my drift. Alright, well... Not interested. We'll uh we'll go that route. <laughs> oh ho, you're an honest guy. That's cute in boys your age. I don't find your type around here. The kids over here are much simpler. All they see is the carrot dangling in front of their faces. You're I know. You seem to have some sort of secret deep inside you. I think it's irresistible. Suku smiles in satisfaction. You can feel her mischievous affection for you. Alright, rank two. I'll see you again. All right, we finished our job and went home. Yeah, 5,000 yen, okay. All right, classes have ended for today. We're waiting for Risa to recover and it's raining. So I think that is a good time to talk to the Fox again. I 
And this should bring us to rank four. All right, the fox brought the Emma. It's worried about the outcome. We told it we granted the wish. Fox looks exuberant. The fox looks at the offertory box and seems pleased. Yeah. And here's our rank up. Alright, and since our relationship has grown, we now get a larger discount. Alright. Oh, welcome home, big bro. All right, we can work as a janitor at the hospital again today. But I think we'll go ahead and end the episode here. And uh, we'll continue that when we get back. Because I think, I'm pretty sure we're about to head into the next major story event. So I'd like to give that a little bit of time. Alright, so for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.